everyone, it's Tara. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a TBR video for the, I don't know what the official title is, whatever I put in the title of this video is the official title. I don't know if it's just the Gilmore Girls readathon or if it's the Gilmoreathon. I like see them interchanged like on booktube. So whatever the official title is. That's what I'm filming my TBR for today of um, the Gilmoreathon, Gilmore Girls Readathon is had a week long readathon happening November 15th through the 22nd and is hosted by, hopefully I remember all of these, Mackenzie at Mackenzie Lane, Heather at Bookables, Desi at Darling Desi, and Liv at Life with Liv. I will leave a link to Mackenzie's announcement video down below. She's like the first video that I watched about this. And she has a link to all of the other hosts video in her description and all of the other like pertinent information you would need for this readathon. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. Like I'm not like a huge, huge, huge Gilmore Girls fanatic, but it did air while I was in high school. So I would watch episodes like, like, you know, here and there, like with my friends or whatnot. But then a couple years ago, I can't remember if it was last year or the year before last, I did a complete like, like viewing of the entire series and then the like Netflix, um, like reboot as well. Really enjoyed it. I just, I love Lorelai and Rory and their relationship and just all of the characters in that show in general are just really cool. Um, and I'm actually doing a rewatch of the series right now because it's really easy to just like turn on and just like, it's just an easy show to watch. And it does have nice fall vibes, all that jazz. So the timing of this readathon while I'm doing my rewatch couldn't be better. So the ladies, the hosts of this do have like kind of two different paths you can take. You can do just like the seven challenges that I think they said, I think Mackenzie said are very similar, if not the exact same as the challenges from last year, but they also created a bingo board. I am just doing the standard like seven challenges. I'm doubling up books for these challenges. I don't know if it's allowed or not. It didn't like no one has outright said that I, in any of the videos I've watched, like one way or the other, if you can or cannot. So I'm doing it. So the first book I will be reading for the Gilmore Athon is A Batter of Life and Death by Ellie Alexander. This is book two in the Bake Shop Mystery series. I will be using this for two challenges. I will be using it for the challenge to read a book set in a small town because Stars Hollow, Connecticut is a small town. I actually just watched the episode where they got their first traffic light. So that's how small of a town Stars Hollow is. Um, and the town of Ashland, Oregon, I don't know for sure that it is a small town. It's a very touristy town because they have this Shakespeare festival. But it seems like all of the residents that, you know, live there year round are like friendly and like know each other. And so that to me gives off small town vibes. So using that for using this for that challenge. And then I'm also using this for the challenge to read a book set in the fall or winter. Because literally, the first line on the back, I don't know if you can see this, it says, it's autumn in Ashland, Oregon. So didn't have to think too much about that. This is definitely set in the fall. So the next book I will hopefully be reading if I if it becomes available at my library and I can pick it up before next week. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, is the Joy Luck Club by Amy Tan. I'll be reading this for two challenges. The first being to read a book with a mother daughter relationship because I did a Google search of books good like mother daughter relationships and that book came up in numerous lists. And then I'm also using it for the challenge to read a book written by an Asian author or with Asian representation in honor of Lane, who is Rory's best friend. Uh, so yeah, I will hopefully get my hands on that by next week. Hopefully. 
We shall see. Or, you know, maybe I just order it on Amazon. The next book I will be reading is Just One of the Guys by Kristen Higgins. I am using this for the challenge to read a book with like complicated love interests because Rory has like the Dean Jesse love triangle, which I haven't watched enough to like watched it enough to have a just like chosen a side in that. So don't ask me because I don't know. Maybe I'll make a more firm decision right now. But like where I'm at in my rewatch, Jesse's not even in the picture yet. So like I'm right now I'm team Dean, but it's because Jesse's not around yet. Um so I don't know for sure if this has like a, like complicated love interest or like a love triangle. It sounds like she might be having to choose between two guys. Like there was like two love interests possibly. It's a romance, so there's at least some type of love interest. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Then there are two other challenges. The first or the last bookish one is to read the next book in a series. And for that, I am torn between two. I don't know which one I'm going to pick up, but I'm either going to pick up Thunderhead or Half a War. Um, these were both, uh, these are both on my November TBR and they are both next books in the series that I need to read. So Half a War is shorter, but I think Thunderhead might read quicker. So I don't know what's going to happen. And then the last challenge is not reading related. It is to bake a like fall treat and watch your favorite episode of Gilmore Girls. I don't have a favorite episode of Gilmore Girls, so I'm just going to watch whatever episode is next in the lineup in my rewatch. And I'm really excited because I've been wanting to bake. Like I'm actually going to be baking cookies tonight, the night that I'm filming this, um, because I told John I would bake them and haven't yet, but I think I'm going to do some baking on like Saturday or Sunday. Is Sunday the last day of the readathon? Whichever day, like that weekend, the readathon weekend, because that's going to be the weekend before Thanksgiving. And I just want to do all this like cookie baking. And if I do it that weekend, then I will have cookies left for Thanksgiving in theory, unless John and I just eat them all. Um, so I will be baking cookies and watching an episode of Gilmore Girls. That is my gilmore -thon, Gilmore Girls Read-a-thon, TBR. Let me know if you're participating down below. What books are you reading? If you have a TBR video, link it. Let me know so I can watch it. And if you're a fan of Gilmore Girls, what is your favorite episode? Which ones do I need to like pay this like special attention to? Because you really like it. So anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.